Mark Rogers TV knocking out every schedule in Power 5 college football. We are going to rank them 1 through 66. But before we do so, we are going through the conferences and ranking them 1 through 10, 12, or 14. We're in the Big 12, so that, of course, means 10 teams in the Big 12. Baylor, worst schedule by far, no question. Next worst, this was easy to analyze. This is the team that a lot of people have as a dark horse to win the Big 12 and possibly get to the college football playoff. Oklahoma State and the Cowboys, unlike last season when they opened in Jerry's World against Florida State, decided to play no one this year. Central Michigan, Central Arkansas, and Texas San Antonio. That's Oklahoma State's schedule. So as we dis- uh, explained in the previous uh, post, Of course, the Big 12 analysis is rudimentary compared to the other conferences. Everybody plays everyone, so everybody has the same schedule aside from not playing themselves. So if you're a good team, you play one extra bad team. If you're a bad team, you got to play all the good teams. So for Oklahoma State, again, out of conference, this is unacceptable. It's crap. Central Michigan, Central Arkansas, Texas El Paso, Texas San Antonio. Sorry. In conference play, really the closing stretch is where it's at. TCU, November 7th, at Stillwater. Two weeks later, after Iowa State, they've got Baylor and Oklahoma. Those three games are all at home for the Cowboys. TCU, Baylor, and Oklahoma. So it sets up well from a national perspective in gaining wins. They're garbage wins, but gaining wins outside of the conference, they'll go 3-0. and They have to go 3-0 and or we're not having this discussion late in the season. But in conference, all the toughies at home, Oklahoma, TCU, and Baylor for the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. If you've got any analysis past that, would love to hear it. Uh, send us your comments and questions right here at Mark Rogers TV.